Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. Now if you're just starting to get into CNC and want to maybe build your own router or just know a bit more about it, then you've likely come across three different kinds of CNC machines. And today I'm gonna show you and tell you what are the advantages and disadvantages of all of them. Now of course, these three that I'm gonna mention by far aren't the only ones and I'm only talking about, about CNC mills, so where are you cutting? Of course there are also lasers and plasma cutters and whatnot, but that's not what I'm gonna talk about today. So the most popular style that you will find for like more DIY applications is the gantry style, where you have the X, Y and Z axis moving and the workpiece is clamped down, fixed into one position and doesn't move at all. This has the big advantage that because of how these machines are built, oftentimes the workpiece can be rather large. So it can be used, you can have machines that you can put an entire sheet of plywood on and then cut out whatever you want. Of course there are also much much smaller versions of those available. But still, in counterpart to the other kinds of machines, their work area is a lot bigger. But because the spindle, which is the tool that experiences the most forces, is just mounted on so many axes, it isn't as rigid as it would be on a different kind. So if your goal is to machine hard metals, then maybe a gantry style isn't quite the right choice. But if you're just machining wood, aluminum, plexiglass, stuff like that, then a gantry style is perfect for you. Now the other style that I've kind of been hinting at are VMCs, or vertical machining centers. They have the workpiece on a table that moves in the X and the Y direction. And the spindle is mounted on a very very sturdy construction arm that only moves up and down, so the Z direction. This results in a lot more rigid machine, but also because the work has to be on a table that moves around, this table can't be too big. So the work area on these machines oftentimes is a lot smaller. So this isn't the kind of machine that you will be using to cut out big things. But instead these machines are used to be very very precise. So you can machine difficult metal parts with many many intricate details on such machines and it works perfectly. If you think of like an iPhone and how it is cut out of a block of aluminum, that's the kind of machine you would use for that. As there you need high, very high precision and you don't really care about a huge work area as an iPhone is rather small. These machines are a lot more expensive as well. The cheapest ones start out at around $10,000, whereas you can get a gantry style CNC machine for just a couple hundred dollars. And then the last category is kind of a cheating category. It's when you take an old manual mill and then convert it to CNC. Many old, for example, Bridgeport machines can ha be had for like a decent price and they are really, really good machines. But if you don't want to stand there and turn all the cranks yourself, but then you can just put some motors on there, maybe replace the lead screws, stuff like that, add a controller and then rather cheaply convert one of these older machines to CNC. There are some up and downsides to these machines, but generally you can get a really sturdy machine for a slightly cheaper price. Of course you also have to deal with the fact that these machines are used, so it is a bit of a more like an individual, more hands-on process to like find the right machine, then convert it and everything. You can't just buy these off the shelf. So I hope you liked this video and learned some stuff. You can also check out some links down in the description, they're like social media links, I have my affiliate links down below that are a great way to support me without costing you anything and also maybe some other information. So thanks for watching and until next time.